Last time we talked about the symbiotic relationship between certain living organisms and uh, and their association, basically. So we said we have got the mutualistic, uh, the parasitic, and we also have we got the commensal. So here we've got just the questions to answer. So what is a mycorrhiza? So a mycorrhiza, remember that we said a mycorrhiza is actually the relationship, it's a symbiotic relationship between between a fungus and the roots of higher plants. So this is what a relationship is actually a symbiotic relationship between fungi and and the roots of higher plants. Let's just keep it short that way. So that is what a mycorrhiza. Remember, we talked about a mycorrhiza in the previous video. If you did not understand that one, please go back and watch again. So explain why the seedling on the right hand side is bigger than the seedling on the left hand side. Let's actually do an analysis as to exactly what did they give us in that above diagram. So you can see here we've got without here you can see without without and with mycorrhiza so here this plant this plant does not have mycorrhiza and then this has got mycorrhiza therefore you can spot the difference between these two plants you can see that plant number a let's actually title them a and b you can see that plant number a is actually short or it's actually small than plant number b since plant number b has got mycorrhiza it has got what it is big let's actually look at the reason why the seedling on the right hand side is bigger than the seedling seedling on the left hand side so the seedling number b on the sle or, or the seedling on the right or, or on the right hand side does not have mycorrhiza remember that mycorrhiza bacteria actually increase the surface area for the absorption of water in the roots of higher plants so it's mycorrhiza since we say relationship between the fungi and the roots of plants so remember that when there is a bigger amount of water absorbed in the roots of a plant and nutrients absorbed in the roots of a plant therefore the plant is able to grow and be big therefore in this case you can actually see that plant number a does not have mycorrhiza it means that the surface area for absorption is, is actually smaller than that one of B. Since B has got a bigger surface area for absorption, even if they are the same age or even if they, they, they've been planted on the very same day or germinated on the same very, very same day, in this case, B has got mycorrhiza, meaning that there is a larger surface area or, the, or there is a larger platform or space space for nutrients and water to be absorbed into the plant and conducted so that the plant grows and be big than the plant number a so this is the function of the mycorrhiza thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends to stay tuned